They want to say that Christ is an idol God, that the New Testament is invalid, that we should just revert back to the Torah, the Basura of the Old Testament, and that's what's valid. But no, they are just trying to accuse Christ of being a devil because he put a damp on the plans of continuing this sin for salvation instead of helping and empowering others and each one of us to return back to the most high, to the permanent salvation and to discontinue procreation. Christ died on the cross. He put the old dogma on the cross to pay the debts of all of us, to relinquish the sentence of being fruitful and multiplying and continuing this mess, continuing spirits back into sinful flesh. He wants us free from all of this. He wants us free from the deaths, the ups and downs, the complexities of life, the temporary satisfaction, the loops of continually trying to fill that void in your heart that you really can't feel in this realm, especially with material possession. He wants us to return back to the purest state before the sin, before the evil, before the principalities, before they are, we're in the high places or low places or anywhere. Think about it, research, show yourself of self-approval, if that's the word, but in a way in a sense, it's about empowering you to know that the Christ consciousness in you and around you. We are our saviors. Together, we can free ourselves from this world, from this matrix, from the entrapments, from the ties, from the rituals, from the altars, from the blood gods, from the idol gods, from it all. And that is what Christ stood for. He died fighting for us to break free from those chains, from the oppression.